Amani has deep-set eyes and a youthful vigor that will make her an ideal young mother. She also weighs 4,400 pounds. It's Barbara Durant's job to get her pregnant. Durant and researchers at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park are studying the reproductive habits of the southern white rhinoceros. It's part of a last-ditch effort to help save its cousin, the northern white rhinoceros, from extinction. The ultimate goal is to use these southern white rhinos as surrogates. They will act as surrogates for northern white rhino embryos. There are only three known northern whites left in the world due to poaching. They're on a preserve in Kenya, and none are capable of reproducing. So the fate of the species could rest in the wombs of Amani, Helene, and four other females being groomed as surrogates in San Diego. Despite their reputation, rhinos are fairly docile animals. But performing an ultrasound on an animal that weighs as much as a Ford truck is a big challenge. Rule number one, trainers can't be in the same enclosure as the rhino. They're three to 4,000 pounds or more, and even if they're not trying to be aggressive, if they accidentally lean against the bars, you know, that can be dangerous for us. Instead, they have to reach in from outside the protective barriers. There's constant communication between what we're doing in the back and what's going on in the front because we can't see her eyes, her head, we can't see what she's doing. And so it's important for the keepers to know when we're actually putting our arm in or putting the probe in, or when we're coming back out. Vials of sperm and egg taken from other northern white rhinos before they died are stored in liquid nitrogen in a room called the frozen zoo. The aim is to transfer an embryo into one of the southern whites and reboot the northern white species. So this is extraordinarily precious sperm right here. I mean, it kind of gives me chills to even hold this vial in my hand. Durant and her team hope to begin the actual inseminations later this year, but it will likely take years before the first northern white calf is artificially produced. The long-term goal for us is to produce many northern white rhino calves and to make a self-sustaining herd first in captivity and then back in this animal's native habitat.